there has to be the villain and unfortunately that was me. So much has happened off camera. He blocked me straight after oh. the launch. We don't talk. I think we could be really good friends. Mm -hmm. And he literally was like, no, don't want to know you. Catherine, it is good to see you. I know. It does feel like it's been ages, but not that long at the no, same time. it hasn't time. at all. <laughs> it hasn't at all. I imagine though, it's kind of a whirlwind and it's kind of not. Like yeah. now you're, you know, the reunion show's gone out. Everything's out there. It's out there for the world now. <laughs> What's it been like? And I think especially on social media, because... Yeah. People just don't hold back. I know myself. So have you been reading comments like, what's it been like? No. So at the start, I was like very much reading every comment. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't do this. Um, cried a lot. And now mm -hmm. I find it funny because people are now arguing amongst themselves on the comments. Of like course. they're battling. It's not even to do with me. Like they're having their own little war. So it's quite entertaining, but no, I literally just block and delete. It's it's all you can do. It just baffles me some of the stuff that is said. Yeah, some of it hurts because um, a lot of people are talking about my adoption. Oh, so I just have to kind of remove myself and just think, no, nope, it's just a message. They don't know you. So yeah, block and delete. Yeah, you've had some really harsh ones as it's well. Been... And I really felt for you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it, do you know what? If I said to myself four weeks ago, do you know what? You're going to be smiling and laughing. I literally be like, now nah, you're lying. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm actually waking up with a smile on my face. It's been that bad. And like credits to anyone who's in the reality world that goes through it yeah. because it is a tough world. I'm sure one of the reasons you're smiling is Jake, though. Like, no, I just have my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your coffee and then Jake. <laughs> no, yeah, like, Jake has been the biggest support. Yeah. Um, but it's hard for him. He's sitting, you know, yesterday was a really bad day for me. And you have your good days, you have your bad days. And he's right. having to come home from his, say, like, normal job. And then I'm sat there and he knows I've been reading comments or I've seen some things. And he's trying to support me to the best he can. But um, it's tough. But I'm in a better position now than I was four or five weeks ago. I'm sure people want to know about you and Jake, though. Because obviously <laughs> you didn't really, you couldn't talk about it at no. all before. But no. now it's fully out it's there. Out and, there. <laughs> and I know you're super, super happy with yeah. him. And you obviously met him in the pods originally, which we did touch on before. Yeah, yeah. Um, how did it come about? Like, <laughs> Honestly, I think people think that Jake was waiting for me at the end of the altar. <laughs> like, this is, uh, this is what I've been reading. Like, he was there, like, waiting. No, so... Um, obviously, I didn't know what Jake looked like at all. <laughs> so when we got our phones back, um, well, I probably went on my phone after the wedding. Right. When I went back home. And then um, me and Freddie ended it. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks later, I went for breakfast with my parents. And I was just sat scrolling and like his like profile came up. I was Ooh. like, oh, is that Jake from the pods? And I knew his journey. He had quite a, like, a rough, bumpy ride okay. on like his side of things. Right. So I just reached out and was like, hey, like, how are you? And he was like, who's this? And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, he's also not seen me before, has he? Um, and I was like, it's Kat. And he was like, wait, Kat from the pods? And he was like, he first he was like, why didn't you rank me higher? Like, why didn't I see you again? And I was like, oh. Um, and literally, we spoke on the phone for about five hours. Yeah. Because he was like, are you not married? And then um, we were speaking for five weeks. And then I saw him for the first time. And then oh that's been it. But we spoke as friends for five weeks. Okay. And then I was like, let's get a like I can come see you we'll spend a weekend went to Alton Towers did like proper like Cute. fun stuff like no like meals it was literally just like kids stuff I love that and um yeah nearly a year later here we are with the dog as well <laughs> with this dog because <laughs> that was the reason right before do you know what when you're in the pods you have to be so critical like any little like red flag or you're like no you know you want to marry this guy and yeah. I don't want to get in between of any drama even though I got myself in drama. <laughs> but yeah, so any little thing, I was like, no. And now everyone was like, oh my God, you're with the guy with the dog. Well. I love the dog. Good. good. And literally whenever the dog's here, he's like, for God's sake. How much should we go and get him? I'm so glad yeah. that it's worked out. But um, I remember when we spoke before and we were talking about therapy and all you girls were saying like, <laughs> you know, therapy. we're all doing it. And you, but you were like, you were very honest and you're like, listen, I've worked on myself. I mm -hmm. reflected on a lot of things. Yeah. And I think it's probably really important that people understand that because like yeah. I said people have been really harsh towards you but yeah. what have you done to be like <laughs> read a book <laughs> <laughs> but to show that yeah we all do right we all have to work on ourselves when 
I think not watching perfect. the show has been a therapy in itself. Okay. You know, because I see how I can react to certain situations. Yes. And even like with, with girls, you know, like I've never had a big friendship group. So meeting 15 women in itself, I was like, what am I doing? Like that was harder than the whole boy situation. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've had therapy for the longest of time anyway because yeah. of my adoption. Um, but this is a whole new therapy. <laughs> like, this is like <laughs> nothing to do with that. So yeah, to be honest, again, watching the show and I've spoken to the girls who have been massive support Great. and they've kind of made everything very black and white for me. And I'm like, right, okay, I can see how that's like that. Or So Good. yeah, the whole thing in itself has been a therapy lesson. Who are you still really close to within the cast? All of them. All of them. So I literally spoke to Sabrina yesterday because I was having a meltdown. Love Sabrina. Yeah, because she's very, she knows me. She's very like, you're being silly or very black and white. Oh. Um, Maria's just like my mom. <laughs> like, she's like, stop being dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz is, again, Jazz gives me wide world. Demi. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm honestly. Really, I'm really glad uh, yeah. that you've got that support there. Yeah. Um, One person, though, obviously, who has people have gone crazy for is the guy who it didn't work out with yeah. is freddie what kind of terms are you guys on now um we don't talk okay um he blocked me straight after oh the launch um it's sad because you know i saw freddie was quite upset at the launch he, he gets really overwhelmed in big settings i've right. known this about him for the longest of times and the first person to go up to him and give him a hug was jake and he just didn't want it. And then throughout the whole launch, I just said that you're my priority tonight. Like mm -hmm. Jake's fine. He's with the boys. Like I want to focus on you to make sure you're okay. Because I knew he doesn't like this big environment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, I don't know. He just blocked me and that's pretty much been it. How, but, are you feeling okay about it? I guess because we all yeah. have to do what we have to do, right? To just be okay yeah. within ourselves. So that's what I'm works for him. I'm feeling fine, but... The thing is, I tried to reach out to him last year, like before Christmas, and said, like, I think we could be really good friends. Mm -hmm. And he literally was like, no, don't want to know you. And then a week before they released the cast, he then was like, I want to be your friend. <laughs> and it really played with my emotions because I was like, I don't get it. And obviously, because his journey has gone really successful, which congrats to him, like he deserves it. Mm -hmm. um, it's now like, bye bye. And I just felt a bit hurt by that. But at the end of the day, I've said this from day one, Freddie's doing his journey, I'm doing mine. Right. There's no need for us to be friends. Yes. Like, the journey we had will stay with us forever. Um, and that's just probably as far as it will ever go. That's, but that's fine, right? Because it's fine. You don't, we don't need to be friends. Like, yes, we went through the journey, but we don't need to. So, so much has happened off camera. There's like, he said, she said, it, it's pointless. And I want to focus on Jake. Yes. And that's that. And being friends with an ex is never easy anyway. No, like I have, I'm not, I've got yeah. the guy who I was dating last blocked. I have to be honest. And yeah. I'm tempted to unblock him sometimes no. when I get weak. But. No, I block, to be honest, when I am <laughs> in a relationship that has ended, I do block them. Yeah. So, but it just sucks because... He, he, I think he was very sad because I was very up and down. Like one minute I was like, no, we can be friends. And the next I was like, no, we, we just can't. It's not going to work. And then I was trying to do the right thing with Jake. It, it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah it's social no. media, again, it's a whole other thing. Like we, back in the day, we didn't have social media. We didn't no. have to deal with that blocking no. and unblocking. Like you just no. didn't see the person and no. that was it, right? Exactly. I so, do think in the future, once everything's died down and he finds his girl... I think it'll make things a lot easier. But right now, we're still in the public eye. People yeah. are still going on about it. So who knows in the future? But right now, it's just best we're not. It's still very fresh. It's so fresh. For us, anyway. For yeah, us for watching you, the I mean, show. But you, it's you. like, guys, can we stop talking about it now? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Leave me with the dog. <laughs> Sorry. Um, also, I do want to touch on what are your feelings now on prenups? Do you know what? Didn't they? This has actually been so frustrating because with this whole prenup thing, I was on, I agreed with Freddie with this. I didn't even know what a prenup was. I've said this in so many interviews. I did not know what a prenup was. Oh. I actually had to stop filming and was like, what's a prenup? Like, I was not educated in this department and everyone thought it was hilarious. And I was like, no, seriously. I mean, unless you're getting married, why would you? I had right? no idea. Um, so when I got told, I said, everything should go to your sister. I don't okay. want a thing because I've only known you for four weeks. So I don't know why people thought I was against him. If anything, <laughs> it was my friends that were a bit like... Mm. Yeah, they were very yeah, much against it, right? I literally say in a snippet, I'm like, should I be worried? Like, <laughs> I, just, I was so clueless. 
So no, everything should have gone to his sister. Okay. And he knew that because we had a conversation right. off camera where I was like, no, I'm on your side with this. Like, because I've got nothing to give you and I don't want your money or house or anything. That's the thing. I think we don't see everything. Obviously, exactly. all these shows are edited, right? Everything's edited yeah. and they can't show everything no. at all anyway. Yeah, you so, can't not, not edit it. You know, you do need the storyline. But I think it was frustrating because... Freddie knew that I was on his side with this. Right. Um, but obviously now it's different. I'm with Jake. Yeah. We've been together nearly a year. So like, we would, I don't know, we have spoke about it. You know what? I still, I still think prenups are a good thing. I think I even no matter well. how long you've been with I, someone, I do, I do well. kind of I think. I do. I think, it, I think, especially in this generation, yeah. like it, so many, I think it's important. Although I say that, I don't know whether they hold up in this country. I think it's a very American thing. I'm not actually sure they Again, hold up. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> yeah. I honestly thought you just, get raised and then you have a house automatically and you get like <laughs> honestly I was so oblivious to life I was like parents and this not is why you reading more Kat I you? lived in Disneyland <laughs> in my head like I'm going to Disney World don't know about you hey it's a great place to be it's a great place to be yeah. um <laughs> Tell me now, though, what your plans are, because obviously you come off a show like mm-hmm. this, you have a much bigger following and more exposure. Yeah. It does open doors as well. So it what does. what is your plan now? Um, my plan, well, to be honest, I'm just taking time for myself. And with Jake, I want to work on myself to be the best version of me before I approach any other crazy, dramatic decision yeah. I make in my life. Um, I would like to work with like charities for adoption oh, nice. because I think it plays a massive part in people's like lives and yeah. I don't think pe- the amount of response I've had saying oh my god like I see like myself in you and how you act is like me and so I like that and I'm like yeah. oh, okay like that does make me feel a little bit better so I'd like to go down that route that's really nice. um and yeah I don't know maybe a few little things maybe I'll be <laughs> on the screens again who knows <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see you doing all the different reality shows no <laughs> more, I no more dating that's for sure I don't need it but um who knows, who knows? Uh, how do you feel about reality tv now would you do any would you do any more do you I think? would okay but again I've seen how I was on one show so I yeah. know okay I'd be like I said I'd be the best version of myself before I entered any other crazy <laughs> and plus this one I did was a dating show yeah if obviously if I do another one it's not dating like you know if a cooking show I'm not going to be <laughs> right. losing my rag in a cooking show like do you know what I, I mean, mean you might I probably would in the kitchen it's not easy. oh yeah it'd be worse actually <laughs> but no it, it's a very different situation but yeah, yeah I wouldn't say no what would you say to anyone thinking about maybe going on the next series of love is blind <laughs> educate yourself in a prenup <laughs> <laughs> No, do you know what? I think it's an amazing experiment because without it, I wouldn't have met Jake. Yeah. And to me, I wouldn't have met Freddie. And our journey was amazing at the start. Mm-hmm. Um, have thick skin. Yeah. And prepare for the outside world because it's very easy when you're in it and you get very carried away. But then the real test is when the cameras are off and you're at home with your partner. Yeah. That's the biggest test. So if you've got thick skin and you think, no, this is for me, then go for it. Yeah. Um, I know actually when I put out my first interview with you and people were like, oh no, is she dating Sam? Because you said you were just dating someone from the pods. Oh my God. And everyone's people like, is still, she dating people Sam? People she's dating Sam? And I'm like, Sam. Mm, no, no. But he's in your friendship group, right? Yeah. So how is he doing now? Because I know he also had it pretty he hard. He had it tough. Yeah. He, he really did. And we were there for each other because... <laughs> He didn't help himself because he was posting that I was with him. And but it's funny because I was sat at home laughing. Like we thought it was the funniest of things. Um, but people still think I'm with him to this day. It's hilarious. Um, he's good. Okay. The thing is, Sam is a good person. He's been there for me as a friend from this from start to finish. Yeah. Um, Sam had his own journey that I would never get involved in. He knows how I feel about how he yeah. went about things, yeah. and he knows that. But um, yeah, he's in our. He's really good friends with me, Jake. Yeah. Charlie, Richie, like... No, yeah. I just want to check, because obviously it's so difficult. Like you say, when you come out of these shows, people are really harsh, especially oh. online, and it, it's not good it's mentally. That, it's worrying. Like, so I, I just yeah. wanted to see how he was doing. He's, He's okay. fine. Like, I call him every day. Jake calls him every day to check up on him. Right. Um, but yeah, it, it just blows my mind with people on social media. Like, I had, like, this mum message me the most disgusting message and I was like this is insane like 
yeah, talking about like, how how could anyone even adopt you? Like you should wake up, you shouldn't even wake oh up tomorrow. Like it was just, but this is a mum and her profile was on wow. show. Normally they don't have a profile and it's just like a robot, whatever. But this, and I was like, people really do Check get invested. Yourself, yeah, people get invested. And I just remind myself like, they are just invested in this character. Yes. And that's what they're doing. And at the end of the day, Freddie's a very good looking guy. And you're going to get people <laughs> protecting him for that. There has to be the villain. And unfortunately, that was me, oh. which is fine. But yeah, I mean, it, I generally think it's just because Freddie is stunning. People are like, he they, is. they, they yeah. will do anything to protect <laughs> this guy. So it is unfortunate for you that you ended up going for the guy who <laughs> I is didn't even like, know what he who everyone like. has just gone crazy yeah. for. And uh, yeah, now you're yeah. on the receiving end of Yeah, he's, he is. Like, he's an amazing, like, he is a very attractive <laughs> male. Like, he yeah. knows that. And that's why I was so surprised in the reveal. Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hyped him up every day. But hey, you didn't go for looks. No, you didn't go for love. And the, <laughs> I literally went for his person. Honestly, in the pods, he said in an interview, like half the time he was talking about cheese and the pods. We did. Like, oh we my sp- God, my ideal guy. Yeah, love we cheese. spoke about like <laughs> pigeons and like really weird things and we just got on. So obviously when I saw him, I was like, oh, wow, like this pod thing's amazing. Like, <laughs> but yeah, obviously that's not real life. The real life is when you're living together in yes. the outside world. And things are good with you and Jake. And oh, my God. Yeah. And we did it. Like I said, our first date was all on Towers. Perfect. It was like lashing with rain and we just laughed. And yeah. Oh, I'm happy. I'm Thank happy you. that things are working out. And yeah. just, yeah, be easy on yourself and yeah. kind of... Yeah, try not to read the internet too much. No, no. Do you know, <laughs> I really don't. Like I said at the start, I did. And now I'm learning that this is just... It's just a phase. It, it's fine and... People can think what they want. Yeah, they are going to, sadly. But you're doing okay. You're smiling. I am. I'm always smiling. So that's all that matters. Uh, Kat, thank you so much for today. And yeah, I'm sure we'll be seeing some more of you. And we'll have an update at some point (laughs) on you and Jake. Yes. The next steps. Wow, who knows? (laughs) Maybe soon. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. (laughs)